What's up everyone? Welcome to Delora News. We've got a great question of the week based on a great holiday. Yeezy News. And a club based on a 1500 year old game. Let's go. Have you ever wondered about how our teachers experience high school? Have you ever wondered what bad could happen while teaching? Well, I've got you guys covered. Let's roll. Here with Kevin Ash, worst experience at a school dance. There you have it. Here with Bill Sherman. Worst experience at a dance. Uh, um, I uh, split my pants at uh, senior ball, getting out of the limo, so that was pretty fun. Worst experience in a classroom. experience as a teacher. I uh, bent over one day on the football field and I split my pants. <laughs> Worst thing you've ever done as a student? Um, I pulled the fire along the last day of second Johnny, have you ever played chess? You know what? I played a little chess back in my day. Uh, can you name all six different pieces? <laughs> of course I can. You've got the king, the queen, the pawn, the top hat, the yellow belly, and of course, the pope. Wow, you really know your stuff. Let's go and check out the chess club. Um, I think the best part about Chess Club is coming here, you play chess, uh, you get to spend time with cool people, and it's pretty fun. The best part of Chess Club is just getting to come and do some nerdy stuff that's really fun with really cool people because this isn't something that everybody can do and getting to be around people that actually care about learning and trying new things is really exciting. Um, normally at a chess club meeting, you, um, you come in, you grab a board, usually, yeah, you need, you need someone, another partner. Um, so you grab a board, you sit down, um, and you play a game of chess. And depending on how quickly you finish that game of chess, um, you might play another one, or you might not. The chess club is Mondays after school, at, during the PLC time, in Mr. Reader's room. After that, I'm really in the mood to play some chess. If that's an open challenge, then I'm going to say king me, my friend. Uh, checkers. What? Checkers. Oh, I get it. Let's go check out today's world news. I'm Ty Herring. And I'm Jesse Chernyoglu, bringing outdated news straight to your screen. As of recently, tech giant Apple and the FBI have not been getting along. I don't think the FBI read the terms and conditions, but then again, does anybody? A year ago, there was a terrorist attack in San Bernardino where 14 people were killed. 
The FBI is asking Apple to essentially hack into the terrorist phone and find information. Even a Supreme Court judge asked Apple to do so. Apple still refused because Apple CEO Tim Cook claims that creating a backdoor to the iPhone would uh, jeopardize the security and privacy of all Apple users. Also, Kanye West is $53 million in debt because he was following his fashion dreams. I think he should find some different dreams. He asked Mark Zuckerberg for $1 billion to invest in his ideas. You may be wondering, how did he ask Mark Zuckerberg, the creator of Facebook? He asked him on Twitter. Maybe Zuckerberg will help him out, we don't know. But you can help him out by going to his GoFundMe page. The link will be in the description of this video. He sent another tweet to Zuck. I know it's your B-Day, but could you call me by tomorrow? He was also saying things like, I'm this generation's Disney, and asking the public to get Zuckerberg's attention by posting on all social media platforms. I think Kanye could have asked in a different way. Yeah, me too. Mr. Black. How else could Kanye... How else could have Kanye asked for one billion dollars? Facebook. A song? Suggestion box. If Kanye asks in any of these ways, you'll see it here on Del Oro World News. Poor Yeezy. $53 million, poor Yeezy. Don't roast on my boy Kanye, Connor. That just ain't cool. Whatever, man. Hey, are your hands also getting really clammy waiting for question of the week? That's a weird question to ask, my friend. The anticipation is chilling me. All right, enough with these terrible puns. If you didn't mark your calendars, or you just didn't ever know, it's Chili and Clam Chowder Day, and this had our Question of the Week team pumped. Let's go to Sam Simonson, who is serving up some piping hot bowls of questions. How are you going to celebrate Clam Chowder and Chili Day? Um, I'm gonna eat clam and chili and chowder. I mean, which is better, chili or clam chowder? Definitely chili. I'm not a clam guy. Definitely chili. Would you rather spoon feed Johnny Spencer chili or clam chowder? Um, who's Johnny Spencer? Can he step forward? Can I see who this is? Um, neither. neither. I'd rather not. Would you rather have him spoon feed you something? I'd rather do spoon feed him. Mm. I just feel like that'd be really awkward. No, probably not. Just no. just a general hard pass. Kind of weird because we kinda, he doesn't mm. probably doesn't know me. And what if he know. fork fed you I like? Mean, instead that'd of be a spoon. little less awkward. But it might be more but dangerous. It might, be more, it might be more dangerous. What other soups do you think we should celebrate on Chili and Clam Chowder Day? Broccoli cheddar soup. Broccoli cheddar soup. Yeah. What 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 is in that? Is uh, it just broccoli, broccoli and cheddar? cheddar? Me personally, my dad likes to uh, cook up some deer chili. Deer some chili. Deer. But I guess that's chili, so. Um, well, I think you've got to give some credit to uh, mushroom soup, and you got to get some credit to uh, probably like the stranger soups, like pea soup, because I mean, chili and clam chowder, like, who thought of chili and clam chowder? You How was that chili? I'll be honest with you, it was very bad. It was vegan, I'm not vegan. I'm a meat guy, I like my meat, and it ruined my khakis. I hope you got those washed ASAP. Chili stains are a real pain. Uh, speaking of pain, we are about ready to wrap up the show. Don't get me emotional on air. <laughs> Spring sports are all about to start, and I heard you're in one, Johnny. You know what? Matter of fact, I am. Boys tennis. Varsity boys tennis. Sounds great. In other sports news this weekend, we have boys wrestling section masters and the girls wrestling state meet. We also have soccer, baseball, and softball scrimmages. It's a lot of stuff, but, well, that's about it from us, Del Oro. Have a great day. And you, you stay, stay Del Oro. Every time. Oh, that was good. <laughs> Can we restart it, please?